Hello and welcome! I am Enigma and a brand new trailer for Splatoon 3 just came out. Let's take a detailed look. Uh, first and foremost, something new even happens at the very beginning of the game in the, um, uh, in the match start screen. You can see here that everyone actually has customizable nameplates, uh, which I think is a really, really cool addition. I don't know if this is user customizable or if this is something that's just automatically generated, but the the tag names and the card backgrounds, but what you might not have noticed is that there's also these little number signs in the bottom left. I don't know if that's uh, a ranking or if it's an ID number of some sort, kind of like how like Discord has your username and then the pound sign and then the, the whatever it is, you know, but uh, anyway, even even here, the next cool thing actually comes on the spawn animations here. These are pretty normal, but the charger actually animates, this is the first time I've noticed it, animates hanging in from the bottom of the spawn cart. Just another cool little addition. I don't know if that's, again, something that's customizable. Next thing to note, uh, everyone already knows that you can actually pick your spawn location, so you can see three folks are spawning in here, but the bow and arrow actually spawns up on the top of this platform here, which is really, really interesting. Uh, it's good to know that there's some dimensionality in where you can actually pick your uh, spawn location. You can see them shooting over here on the left side. So the splatter shot, the octobrush is coming back, there's a slosher on the right side there, and we switch to the other team. The 52 gal has the new killer whale and the splash wall, at least in the in the demo here. Of course, that's always subject to change. Uh, the next thing that I found was really interesting was on the splatter shot pros kit, it's got something that looks like a point sensor. So you can see here, there's this line that's actually extending out to, oh, that is the point sensor, because you can see there's a line extending out to the person, uh, the, 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 the inkling using the bow and arrow, but also it looks like they have to like continually be like, have like focused on it. I'm not a hundred percent sure what this looks like. And you'll see a little bit more when it changes perspectives. So you can see the thing up here on the top. Uh, and this player over here isn't really shooting. I don't know if that's just because this fight's kind of rehearsed for the trailer or or what, but that's clearly an indicator that something's going on. And then, of course, we've got the tri Zuka, which has um, is giving me kind of Jet Force Gemini triple rocket launcher vibes, honestly. So first first thing to note, it's an instant kill. Second thing to note, it actually goes through goes through players like the Rainmaker. So it actually went through this purple player down here and then splatted on the ground even past that. Now, the next thing I want to know, and let me back it up a couple frames here. There's a little like, like, that comes in from the sides of the frame. I don't know if this is the player getting sighted down by the charger over here on this platform, or if it's because this player is walking through enemy ink and just took damage. But watch, as you'll notice, here it comes. Oh, I just, I just missed it again. Let's actually set this to slow speed. So we gotta, we gotta take this apart. All right, so here it comes, and right there. So I don't know if this, I think this might be initial damage because it looks like they healed up in the ink here and then kind of stepped back in again. But a, a nice little like like effect at least to say, hey, you got hurt. Uh, there's a few other effects like that that I'm going to be pointing out as well that are very, very welcome in my opinion. Let's set this back up to not slow speed. And we get to see the new bubble shield. It's a point defense shield against something folks already knew, but this is a point defense shield. The splat roller laid it down to defend the charger here. And then as the um, as the uh, splatter shot was actually shooting it, it made a sound like it was being able to be damaged, which I thought was really cool. Now, I paused it here specifically because we have a different kill screen. So the original view in Splatoon 2, where if you die, you see the kill screen, is you basically see like kind of a, a sideways version of the person who killed you's perspective. Now it actually pans up, which is really nice because you can see a little bit more about the surrounding area and maybe get some more intel for when you return back in. And this lasts for about the same amount of time before we switch. 
And now on the charger, the charger's got a brand new special. It's an ink vacuum type special that can be used to defend. So you can see it's sucking up the bucket's ink, sucking, sucking up the brush's ink. And then the cool thing is at the very, very end, it fires a shot that is a one hit kill and gets the bucket here. Um, again, very neat to see another defensive special that isn't a shield. Uh, let's go ahead and play the video again. Next thing we've got is the bows shot here. A couple of new details, things that I at least didn't notice in the first few trailers. These shots actually will land and then explode. So right here are the three shots that the bow fired uh, right on top of this, this enemy uh, inkling, octoling. And you can see they popped and took made a little bit of a hit. Now they're going to hit him again up here. And I think that that was enough chip damage to KO him because it didn't look like it was an instant kill. Uh, and then of course the charger gets him as well. Now the zip caster, one of my one one of the specials I am most looking forward to. So this is a mobility special. And you can see the octobrush here getting right behind the charger to get some splats. The cool thing I think is that this jumps back like the um, like the inkjet does, uh, but because it has so much mobility, you can actually launch it from way way a safe location. Just like the hard thing that I uh, that I found about using the inkjet. Now, the next thing is another special I'm really, really excited about. Very, very, um, very, very much like uh, the uh, hamster in Overwatch. Let's get the crab tank. So this looks like it's a longer range two or three shot. I think it's a three shot. Let's back it up and actually count that here. Let's go slow motion again for a second. So that's one two three yeah so, so it's a three shot kill and uh, it's a longer range shot and then it's also got this kind of grenade shot option i'm assuming that's going to be like the the bomb button as well as a roll so I, i'm going to make a make a prediction here that the main trigger is your shot the secondary trigger is the bomb and then the squid trigger to like go in the ink is going to be the 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 roll for the ball I think that would make the most sense anyway. And so the other cool thing I want to point out, I just I just missed the frame. But if you watch up here, I'm gonna back it up. When any when anyone on either side of the battle here uh, gets splatted, there is a big like big like X animation that pops up as as it comes up. So it's another quick kind of peripheral view indicator that a, a another person on the other team has uh, been taken out of commission. Uh, let's back this up actually and do slow motion again to, to show that off. I like that that's there because that's going to be another uh, another good way of like not having to like look up from where you're where you're aiming or what you're shooting at. That's uh, half speed. Thank you very much. So let's watch that here. Watch again as the octobrush gets taken out up here and there it is. So that little flash, you don't need to actually be even looking up there to see that. And it's, you can see that it's on this side or it's that side. I just, mm, thank you, Nintendo. So next thing on the list here is a bit more of the bow gameplay. So you can see the bow shooting one shot and shooting three shots. If you were noticing a bit earlier, the bow actually charges them up, but the shots actually have an arc. So that shot actually came out from here, arced over the splatter shot, uh, player's head and then landed back behind them and you can see them actually blow up in a closer detail here. Now the killer whale, I'm really excited about this. I'm so excited to see the killer whale back and I absolutely hated using the stingray so this is going to be the new, I think this is going to fill the stingray knit uh, niche a bit better than the stingray did and not be quite as OP as the <laughs> original killer whale. So some things we knew, some things we didn't. First thing is that um, this comes out in six individual pods. That's actually called out on the special thing here. And they drop off two at a time. So the top two, the middle two, and the bottom two. And then what's cool is that they will track players. And because they come out, they actually drop off like that in that kind of a slow way. Um, I can see a lot of potential for like spreading them out, covering covering more area, or using them to, in this case, focus down on one specific player, the one that got splattered over here. But then even 
cooler is that it's not a one hit kill. It actually takes a few hits just like the uh, Stingray did. So you can see that the uh, bucket here gets poked by it, but doesn't die. Now, so many things. Ink Strike is back. I'm so excited about this. This looks like it's another one of the one hit kill specials. And we're actually gonna back it up just a little bit to get some more detail. The first thing to notice is that when the ink strike fires off, it actually shoots like a little rocket straight up, which I think is really, really neat. And now this comes back to back on the Splatoon 1 days where the ink strike, what you would do is you pull up uh, a little, your uh, Wii U gamepad on a tablet and you'd poke on it and say, okay, well, I want the ink, the ink strike to go here or there, whatever. So in this case now, it looks like what we've got actually is three bombs. And I'm trying to catch that little thing. So here they go. You can see them opening up. And now uh, this player is going to throw a few bombs to actually mark where the ink strikes are going to happen. So one to the left, one to the right, another one to the left. And you can see they actually get two players on the left there with that strike. Uh, this is on the bucket. Again, I hope these kits stay. I do like I, I do like these kits overall. But we'll, I mean, the Splatoon 2 demo, like it ended up coming out and then like all the kits were different. <laughs> Except for I think the Dooley's kit and I guess maybe the Charger kit, but uh, we'll see. So up next we've got a little bit more on the bow and the double shield, uh, the double shield, the uh, bubble shield. So first to note with the bow, you can actually hear it charging up and beeping. Um, and then that sound, the sound that it made when they hit the shield, this is the, that's the same like sound when you shoot a um, sprink sprinkler or beacon um which kind of to me indicates that um this shield can be like focused down and kind of destroyed kind of like a bastion's um uh immortal thing in like in overwatch which i mean they're both team-based arena shooters so the comparison is going to happen sorry so we got some good gameplay here with the bow again Seeing that arc on that shot, these things charge up and then they then they explode. And oh, the uh, the player death explosion. Just as a, a a little bit of an aside, I think it looks really cool. Like it, there's like like a little bit of like 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 impact to it, and it's not just like a like a misty puff of ink. Like there's like like paint. Like look at that block. All right, so now we see the squid dodge mechanic. We already knew about that, but it's good to know a couple of things. One, wait a minute. I think I just, I think I just found something else cool. All right, so listen, listen for a minute. When the uh, 52 guy here dodges from the left to the right, it sounds like it's making the uh, deflection noise from ink armor in Splatoon 2 which maybe there's invincibility frames on this that that would actually be really cool if maybe op well we'll see uh so anyway so listen for it yep there it is that's i think i think that might actually have been some invincibility frames even i don't know uh, next, we've got the Airstrike Bombs uh, special effects. It's going to be at the very end of the match here, which we're getting really close to. I do like that the uh, the zipliner here actually has a bit of a jump when it shoots, so that you can actually get some really good motion. Uh, we know that the Curling Bomb is coming back, as well as the Roller here, because here comes the Roller around the corner. R oh, and, oh, and there's the Vacuum sucking up ink. There's that Roller. Rest in pieces. Now on the right here, just just on the other side of this box, you'll see I think it was an airstrike bomb, but then the like the particle effects actually kind of look like the disruptor. They're like the little like black squares that back again from Splatoon one, and a bunch of things should be returning. There it is, and see those little like we'll see. All right, now <laughs> for the outro, Lil Judd is so fuzzy. Look at him; he's got all kinds of like little fuzzes. <laughs> and then, of course, Big Judd actually also looks a bit fuzzier as well. So I don't know if it's uh, just that they're aging, or I don't know, but pretty normal, you know. And then we—I love the confetti here too. These—it's like a 
freaking like shipping sticker, like caution fragile. And like, uh, in fact, I think that says fragile, but then there's also some, some like brand stickers and band stickers. Now I love that every player gets their own like little highlight here. So there's the bucket and then the brush and then the splatter shot and then the bow, but also something that you might've missed cause it's already gone now is that it, yeah, there are medals. There are medals. Number one, and this is for the bow, by the way. So number one overall splatter, number one popular target, number one enemy splatter. I really like that they've added that in because that's another like, it's another cool like detail. It's one of the things I missed. Um, I believe it was in Smash 64 and they removed it in Melee or maybe it was in Melee and they removed it in Brawl. But at the end of the match, like you'd have like additional like little like, like, achievement type things you know jumped the highest flew the furthest you know nasa greet so and so for going off into space um and they killed that and i thought that was like fun it was like another like hey that's that's neat uh, but regardless we've got medals at the end of the game i wonder if these are these might even be things that you can collect so like oh well i you know i've played 10 matches and of those nine of them i got number one overall splatter or whatever I hope they do something neat with them regardless. And last but not least, the release date, 9-9-22. It's, they said it was summer. It's still summer for like a couple weeks. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm super hyped about the Zipcaster and the return of the Ink Zooka, but the Crab Tank and Bubble Shield look really, really cool too. I think that the coolest potential thing though are the post-game medals. I can't wait to see what Nintendo does with them. It has a lot of really, really good potential. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they do with it. Comment below on what you're most excited about about the new Splatoon game, and I will. See you later.